person that inspired me to complete my degree is my mom, Ernestine. She, um, she was a big motivator. In fact, she completed her degree around the same age as I. And she's always told me, go get your education. That's something that no one could ever take away from you. So knowledge is power. And she said, estudia mija. I'd actually have to say my family has inspired me to complete my degree. Who has inspired me to, co to complete my degree is my husband. My husband, Michael. My grandmother, the late Maddie Lee Wallace. He's been a really big inspiration and he's pushed me and he's pushed me and he's pushed me even when it was really difficult. My children as well. The person that's expired, uh, inspired me to um, obtain my degree is my husband. Um, I think the inspiration started with my oldest son. He's been my motivator, he's been my cheering section because I was a single mom at the time and I wanted to do better for him. He's put up with me through, you know, um, crunch time, writing papers. So he's been a, a tremendous motivating factor to me. Professors Lewis, Wells, and Dr. Lampton. What has kept me inspired throughout this achievement in my life is my children. They've seen things in me that I just didn't see in myself. And wanting to show them that they can do anything if they stay focused and determined. They have been my heroes and shero, for sure. Uh, it's kind of hard to pinpoint one person specifically. When I met my wife, she already had two bachelor's degrees. So uh, I'd have to really say it was a lot of my family. And she has just been everything. My parents especially. She's encouraged me in every single way to, to finish. Uh, my wife has always been there supporting me. And I say, you know, I've got, gone to school long enough, I'm going to stop. But she's like, you know, you need to finish and the rest of my family, really. And so she is, you know, why I'm finishing. Uh, actually, two people. My mom, because uh, she did it when she was an uh, adult, you know, single mom. My grandchildren. Uh, and my wife, obviously, for supporting me. Michaela and Lauren. Um, my grandchildren. Um, I was inspired to complete my degree by my parents. Initially, it was actually my son. Um, I really wanted to, you know, really set a good example for him. They kind of hung in there with me for a little bit because it took me a while to get back into school. However, as time went on, I really began to see that uh, ultimately I was becoming a good example for all African American males. Definitely my family, my whole family, um, special friends. And I really take a lot of pride in completing my degree for that reason. The person that got me through the door at Park actually was my daughter. Uh, Latricia Washington. Every one of my instructors. We made a, uh, a vow with each other. Um, it was, if you excel this year in, in high school. My instructors were who pulled me through and pushed me to, to go further. Then I will um, actually uh, put wings to my dream and go back to school. Especially Mr. Wells. And she did excel, so that got me through the door. Actually, I chose Park uh, for the um, accelerated format. The reason that I chose Park is because they were among the first to have accelerated adult uh, classes. Um, and also it had the curriculum that I was actually looking for. And so that just really did fit where I was because I had small kids at the time. So that's why I chose Park. I chose Park because it's definitely the best way to take advantage of my um, community college credits that I did. The semesters at more faster to finish, to accomplish your, your school. It was the perfect choice for a working student such as myself. It was very highly recommended. I chose Park University because uh, it has a good reputation. When my daughter was in eighth grade, um, we went to um, career and college night. And this was just awesome that I could you know, take classes online, and they're really good, solid classes. And I picked up brochures, and Park University was one of the brochures that I picked up. And um, it's competitive, and, uh, you know, I heard a lot of good things about it, and I'm happy I'm here. And a few years later, as she was graduating and looking at colleges, I came across that brochure and said, you know, this is what I want.
It's been 20 years since my first class uh, here at Park. When I first walked in, the first thing I said is, if I make it through this first class, then I'll finish all four years. I just think it made me a better person, you know, just different people that I met. How have I grown? Well, I think that um, it showed me that I have true perseverance. I never thought I would have come this far when I first started. It's opened my mind tremendously. I feel like I can go out there and conquer the world. I have become a lifelong learner. Now I have a focus for the passion that I have. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to tackle the outside world now. Parks prepare me to have lots of confidence and just be a go-getter now. I've got a lot of confidence now. I can stand up in front of people and talk and give a speech. You know, it's just, I focused and now I feel like I'm empowered and I could tackle and do anything. Park has given me a, a drive to be a lifelong learner. Park has definitely taught me discipline, especially with online classes. Park has pushed me further to reach my academic goals. Time management skills. I have this can-do attitude now. They taught me how to ask for help, and that's helped me a great deal. I'm more prepared to get out there to seek higher levels in life. Everything that I have learned at Park has set me up for a successful future in anything I can do professionally and personally. When you have a busy schedule, as most, as most adults do, and you're trying to go to school, um, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of stress. My toughest class actually was statistics. Oh, the statistics. Statistics. Only statistics. Uh, statistics. Statistics. The quantitative research methods. Quantitative research methods. Whew, my toughest class at Park. Hands down, quantitative research methods. Anybody, I'm praying for you, but you can do it if I can. Oh, college algebra. I cried. I honestly cried over my computer when the answers would change. Uh, just one. My math class. I can name three very quickly. Uh, algebra one, stat one, and stat two. And if it wasn't for Professor Maldonado. Dr. Maldonado is a genius. I mean, he's got the patience of a saint. There's a special place in heaven for him. And I came in and Dr. Maldonado said, okay, wait. <laughs> because I have never made an A in math. And I've just got the worst block when it comes to math. You know, calm down, take a deep breath. We can do this. And he broke it down in little steps. He made it very easy for me to understand and comprehend. And I ended up getting an A in uh, STAT II, quantitative research. And as a result, I actually got an A in college algebra. Who knew? <laughs> Dr. Maldonado was great, uh, made it fun. So it was tough, but uh, made it through it. Um, I, when I came here, actually the reason why I postponed it, uh, getting my degree was my fear.